You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. Do you recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Celieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking Chrysler building. In 22... Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello create a divvy up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought... It just kept turning round and round in my head until one day... I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adon were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. 
He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny, have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. All right, then. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Hello. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, Excuse me? He'll never look our way. He's a good boy. Oh, gotta do something about All right. Time to head, head out back and uh, meet up with our good friend Vincenzo. See what he has for us. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Vinny. Says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Salieri wants us to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Right. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Yep. Find a way inside. Right between the eyes. Mm-hmm. You got it, pal. Alrighty then. We've arrived at the old prison. Now we've got to find a way into the prison. And, uh, not only just that, but... A way to the top. May I help you? you with Tony? Yeah. Might be. Alright. Hey, get out there! Thanks for the advice. We ain't going nowhere. Turn around. Okay. Down into the sewers, I guess. Sure. Um Let's follow the hobo signs. Whatever these are. Okay, maybe it's not that way. Oh! What? I'm sorry. I don't know this place was, uh, protected by code. What was that? Uh, 
Okay. I don't know what that was all about. I guess I wasn't supposed to go there. Ah, is this the uh, hobo sign? Or am I back? Am I back at the start? No. Okay. All right. Looking for a way into the prison. Why can't you people just leave us be? I'm just, uh, just hanging around. This is our home. Why can't you people understand that? Yeah. There you cop. You're locked up tight, not getting in. Not a cop, but. I'm sure we can discuss this. Coming true. Why are you making this complicated, man? I'm not here to take your turf or whatever. Just here to do my business and I'll be on my way. Is that really too much to ask for? Yeah, I can see that. Maybe a little too protective. Oh. Okay. It's not this way. Following the signs, it's not try to not cause any more hey, trouble. Hello, I'm I'm nobody. Don't worry about me. Oh. Hey now. There's no need for name calling. I'm just trying to pass through here. That's all I'm trying to do, I promise. I don't know why you gotta make it so complicated for me. an interesting predicament. Okay. Unfortunately, it's one that I don't have the time for. Um, how do we get... Can we get much higher? Not here, I guess. Is, is this entire place just a distraction? Not, not at all necessary? Ah, maybe I was supposed to go through here. Okay. Wait a minute. Is this where I started from? This is where I started from. I can't climb back now. I guess that was a shortcut for my return when I'm done with my objective. I just happened to stumble across it. Gotta be kidding me. What are the odds of that? Okay. How about we go this way? Have you seen my 
No. There's nothing here. Okay, so I was supposed to go through here and fight this guy, I guess. Okay. Alright. Then we went in here. Then we went through here. And then we went in here. Then we went in here. Then we went through here. Then we got out. And then we went here. No, we didn't. I don't know why I said that. Through here. I'm following the signs. Through here. And then... Through... Oh! Oh! You guys respawned? Through here. Oh! Through this window. There we go. Right. Oh. A what? Well, you think you can just walk through here? This is our place. Who the hell do you think you are? Gentlemen, I want no trouble. I'm simply passing by. There's no reason to get agitated. Close to the guard tower. Real close. Elevators out, but you can take the stairs. All right. Thanks. Are these the stairs? I don't like how many first aid kits are there. Okay, not this way. Even though there's a hobo sign here. Not this way. Okay. Uh, apparently there's stairs somewhere that I need to find and use. But it's anybody's guess where they could be. Do these count as stairs? No? Uh... Maybe it's somewhere back here where I came from. Oh! Guard tower. There we go. Perfect. So, turns out I didn't really need the, these hobo signs. I still got lost and I still managed to find my way on my own, really. So, brilliant. There we go. At least the key works. That's something. Uh, now where's that rifle? Should be stashed in here somewhere, right? There we go. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. <clears throat> there we go. Hill. Did it. Oh. Whoa! Ugh. <sighs> How long have I been out? Oh no! Have I been long? Lo have I been out long enough for the police to come and surround this entire place, and I have to find my way out? Oh no! 
Who could have predicted this outcome? It's not like all those fucking health kits gave it away or anything. A pipe? What the fuck am I gonna do with a pipe? I got guns galore, baby. I don't need no stinking pipe. I do need some health, though. If you got, if, if you all got any of that health, could really use it right now. Uh oh. Can grab it through the door. All right. No, it didn't. You're lying. That's too bad. For the chief, that is. Yo! Why don't these fucking cops show up on the map? I thought there was only two cops here. Oh well. Time to go. Here we go. Get some ammo, get some health. Get that door open. Uh, we should be on our you see. merry way. The police. It's the police. What if I say no? We'll only come back, you bastards. Oh. I guess the jig is up. Stand still, will ya? It's the least you could do. Who needs help? Somebody behind here? Oh god! Where'd you come from? Alright, let's just keep going. Hey now. There's no reason for all that cursing. Come on, man. We can all be civilized here.
Alright. Now we uh, use that exit that we found, right? Is it on this floor or. Please tell me it's on this floor. There we go. See you boys later. Bonk. We got a roadblock set up. Should slow him down. He's in a car. Get him before this goes any further. No, I'm not. This isn't a car. It's a vehicle. Bye bye now. Uh-oh. Busted. We got a roadblock set up. Should slow him down. <laughs> Officers on Central Island. Suspect has been lost. Could have gone much, much worse. All right, our work is done. Well, well, today's work is done at least. Let's go home. All right, finally made it back home. This was the. Quite the eventful day we had. Did you hear about this turnball? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Oh. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Well, yeah. You know. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom. Don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Bradley, too late for that. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. 
The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, we right. got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We got to play this one cool. So we're going to steal a customs truck. Slip right in. Christ. And kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. See if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You alright, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We could do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. Need something special? Go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sake, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. All right, Vinny. Whiskey business tonight, Tom. Take whatever you need. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just gonna grab the good stuff here. Stores whacking small time punks. Feels a long time ago, huh? The job don't change, Vinny. One dead guy is the same as the next. Ah, enjoy it. All my life I wanted to be one of the big guys. And that's us now. We're living the dream, Tom. It don't get better. Never forget that. Yeah. Suppose we are. All right, come on. Yep. Got a job to do, right? Let's get her done. Would you relax? You're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. It's got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I'd have figured there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't even think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. You just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. Robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? 
What's the difference? Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the Don? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Paul. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But Salieri? Well, he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know? Wake up. We're here. Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good. Go look for a customs truck. Um, what exactly does a customs truck look like? Does it have the words customs written on it? Or something? Oh. Okay. That was easy enough. Do, 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 oh! Oops. Forgot to lockpick. Oh well. It's not like it's not like we're gonna keep this truck. So a little broken window. Should be fine. It might make uh, anyone we run into a little bit suspicious, but if we roll down all the other windows, right? It'll be like we're just we're just trying to enjoy the fresh. Lost Heaven Air. Is all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be alright. Alright. Got the custom truck, so let's head on over to Sam and Polly. And, uh. I mean, we've only. We've only left them for a couple of minutes, but. Let's hope they haven't run into any trouble. Those boys. You know, seems that trouble looms around them wherever they go. But I suppose we'll we'll see for ourselves soon enough in what state they are in. Just as we take this turn, park up over there, Tom, and park up over here there we go one customs truck coming right up where's my uniform huh? uh, this is all we got pal what size only room for two in a cap you go right in the oh. back make sure you keep your head down or this whole thing is blown forget about it i know when to keep my head down mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. All right. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? Yeah, yeah. What's the plan when we get to the Just Keep driving. I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is. Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. You got your papers? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, Pete, you got the papers? The dash. What was that? What was what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. You might not find a spot. Hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. He's got a point there. What kind of time do you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. Or no. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in. Come with me. Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemi. Ship docked on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't okay. Get don't get seen. Find us when you're done. Brilliant. All right. Before we uh, go ahead with this little obligatory forced stealth mission, I'm going to take another another break. And I'll be right back. All right, everyone. I'm back, and um, we're going to be looking for diamonds that are hidden in a cigar crate somewhere inside the Federal Customs Impound. Something about Bohemia. Something 23rd, something, I don't know. There can't be that many cigar crates that have diamonds hidden in them, so... Shouldn't be that hard to find. We must, however, try to avoid... Fancy got guys working over that tonight. The prying eyes of the guards. So all it's gonna take is one gun shot. We'll all be done for. So let's try to avoid any unwarranted attention. Continue to make our way into the imports building. Howie, I took a cigar crate out of the warehouse. I have a hunch some of these Cameroons we impounded when the Bohemia docked might be hiding what we're looking for. When you come in, get into the warehouse and check the rest of the boxes. See you in the morning. Good luck. This will help. Okay, so the crates are somewhere in the warehouse. Is this is this the warehouse? Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Good boy, these fates are assholes. You must have been through a hundred maxes already. Fuck me. Excuse me, mister. It's not gonna be in the filing cabinet, is it? I doubt it's gonna be on the books. Oh! Empire Bay Dream, uh, the Bohemia, there we go. Cigars, untaxed. Warehouse storage area D2. Interesting. D2, okay. So that's where we gotta go, D2. Yeah. How can we distinguish D2? Oh, I think think this waypoint is leading us to D D2. Tap 
Tommy? None of this is any use. Oh. Alright. Well, we're going to D2, so... Urgent. We have become aware of unknown and high-value contraband currently passing through the Lost Heaven Federal Customs impound facility. It is vital that you conduct a search through all impounded goods immediately. Time is short. Failure to uncover the illicit materials could result in failed prosecutions here in Empire Bay. Detective Joseph Grove. Hmm. Wonder where they got their tip from. A concerned citizen, perhaps. Nazi demands met in Munich. Adolf Hitler, Führer of Germany, was today granted the right to annex the Sudeten area of Czechos Czech Czechoslovakia in an agreement made in Munich, Italian, British. Oh, in an agreement made in Munich, Italian, British, and French leaders were signatories, signatories to the accord. With occupation expected to be completed within ten days, British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain described the agreement as peace in our time. The Czech Czechoslovak government was not in attendance and expected any expected any agreement to be at the expense of their nation. Well, that's fascinating stuff, but not what we're here for. Oh? Oh? Seriously? That guy? All the way over there? Almost... Almost caught me? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Oops. Alright, there we are. Is this D2 over here? I hope so. Ah, crap. Place is huge. Okay, boys, check It's a lot of guards. There's hundreds. Then lucky you have an all night to search them. Um, cigars and tobacco products, Atlantic Empire Export Co., Holbrook. Harbor Master Suspicion Untext Goods to D2. Yep. Huh. This will help. We already knew that, but sure. Alright. Now that we have the place 
to ourselves, more or less. Let's head down here. Okay, this is Sector D1. So, let's not even bother. Is this D2? There we go, D2. Let's have a look around here. Cameroon, it says. No? Okay, well. It's worth a shot. This is also from the Cameroon. Jeez, give me a break. Nothing here. <sighs> Come on, third time's a charm. Here we go. No? Found them. There we go. You're not gonna mark them or anything? No? Okay. Sure. There he is. Um Okay. Sure, we're getting what we came for. We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. <laughs> That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? What? Okay, Tom. Got it. Seriously? Let's go! Let's go! Jesus, Tom, it ain't comfortable back here. Huh? You sound the alarm. Come on. Get that shit out of here, man. No, there isn't. No, we're not. Every cop in town's gonna be on their way. So let's get out of sight fast as you can, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Road's closed up ahead. Find another I way. I can see we that. Seen no race hell. Go. Checkpoint. Give it a wide bird, Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. We're aces, Pally. We're aces. Any more checkpoints? Oh! Shit! Another roadblock! Find a way around! Kidding me? Are they gonna spot us from here or? This is a bit risky. Alright, there we go. Oh! This. This doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, let's go around. God damn, how many checkpoints do they have? Give me a break here. All right, here we go. Should be good now, right? Let's see if we got more checkpoints up their sleeve. And they do. Okay. It's like the fucking clone army over here. Exactly. This is 1930s Illinois. How many cops could there be? Where are they? Then we'll have our guns for Carter's over there again. Feels like we left them behind. Yeah, hopefully. What's up, sir? Where the hell were you back in the compound? We were about to give up. The place was a maze. It's a miracle I found the crates. Next time we pull something like this, we need a better plan. More information. A better plan? He got the ice, didn't he? Yeah, but next time... Barely. Next time what? We run it all through you? 
As scores like these are your best thing? Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Let's get back to the warehouse without LHPD on our tail, huh? Sure. We got the diamonds, the boss will be happy. That's all that matters right now. Those rocks had better be as big as the goddamn ridge for all the crates we had to move tonight. Hey, Polly! You okay? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of these crates have shot this shit though. How bad is it? It's the worst of it. Oh, it don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, is it? All right. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamonds supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Well, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload a crate into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say? Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Now nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yep. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. So which bank? Grand Imperial. Their North Park meets downtown. Yeah, been there. A while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees. Watching some poor skirt burn just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. Yeah. You got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? I'm nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. Six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. 
ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at. I'm trying to keep some shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though? I know, it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting until things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. See a teller sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. Before the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. Your gunshots down at the vault. Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You're doing this? We're doing this. I guess so. See your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Get the manager. I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement, people start getting shot. Oh, Mr. Manager. Knock, knock. With me. Down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. That's right. This make you feel big? Beating on a little guy? It's making me feel rich. And the little guy gets doing? to walk away if he doesn't do anything stupid. How many guards at the vault? One. You gonna shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. That's it, pal. Nice and slow. Everything okay? Manager here is being good and cooperative. We're all doing what we're told, aren't we, buddy? Keep moving! You won't get away with this. Your sort never do. You just worry about yourself. You want to see your daughter graduate from high school? No, you keep I'll your hands you where do. I can see them and tell your guard to do the same. Yeah. You got that? I ain't killing around here. Remember, when we get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Listen to me very carefully. 
I need you to put down your... Ah, sick of you! Shoot him! Come on now. Gotcha. What was that all about, huh? You really willing to risk all these people's lives just to get to me, huh? Yeah, for now, maybe. The night's still young. It's not even night. That's how young it is. Alrighty. Let's get this vault open. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. There we go. What Come happened? On, time to go. Wow, these guys are fucking sharpshooters. <laughs> they were picking shots at me from like the tiniest pixel. Wow, okay. Well, that was my fault. <sighs> Fortunately, the shotgun is not useful in situations like these because. By the time you're close enough to one of these cops, you've already been shot 19,000 times. I guess the key here is to not get surrounded. Getting some ammo and health. You know how it is. Alright, let's get out of here. It's a bit excessive, isn't it?
Where to, Polly? Come on, Polly. Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, gently place the bag. Alright, here we go. You're not gonna find me. I'm already gone. Like a leaf in the wind. Hey. Sam's club. Hey, it's empty right now. What he don't know can't hurt him. <sighs> sure. I guess you're right. There we go. Stash this in here. I guess so. For all time's sake. Uh, sure. Ah! We gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home. Celebrate with Sarah. Come by my place in the morning. We'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. All right. Good luck. See you around, pal. <laughs> Try not to spend it all in one place, huh? Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what'd you do? You're just feeling lucky, is all. Got that right, champ. But I've been thinking. Oh yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? <laughs> Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. Something like that? Take a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving. Even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Ellie, you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. You better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. Yeah. I guess so. Let's head to Polly's. Hey, it's me. What the hell? You still here? 
Yeah, just picking up some collective fucking alley. Smoking even his man and wife. Even on his wedding day is smoking. What the fuck? Alright. Let's head to Polly's. Alright. And which which one was Polly's apartment again? It was um Oh Polly Why is the door open? What the God Jesus What the hell happened? Polly What's going on, Sam? He found out about the bank job. What? You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta disappear. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And, uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. <sighs> yeah. To the city gallery we go. Don't move, Tom. What? Shit. What is this? Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. Put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for at Polly's. Here's your cut. It's what? more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore up about it. I'm just in a good mood. But things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. 
a whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on. You're the one that let her live. What? I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal. But you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would've lived a lot longer if you would've just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. Ain't gonna be that easy to kill me. Why'd you have to make me do this to you, buddy? Is that right? Excuse me? Let me take that off your hands. Trust me, I'll put it to good use. Excuse me? <clears throat> Let me show you how to use it.
Good hit, pal. Very good. Fortunately, it wasn't good enough. You're going to burn, all right? Come on, boys. Check me out. I won't bite, I promise. Running out of guys yet. Still not over time. And off he goes. Celieri was ripping us off. Drug money is a pace for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys. Okay. And off he goes. Where are you going, buddy? Get lost. Take a seat, Buster. Sam? Come on, Sammy. Don't you hide from me. Where'd you run off to, buddy, huh? Come on. Oh, boy. I know 
one way out. And I'm the guy who gets to give it to you. You were saying? Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? That little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you. Polly, you I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family, too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's got to eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, I think there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not going to make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Salieri will be your legacy. 
Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. Long time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over when we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! That's okay. You're safe now. You're all safe. Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family... Family is forever. 